So cookware is a really basic tool. You know, it's made from a couple of different materials or one material. You heat it up, you put stuff in it, you cook your food. Like, that's great. If it works, it works. But what makes phenomenal cookware? And why is phenomenal cookware so phenomenal? Why do we have certain pans that we like? And why do we have certain pans that we love? Just lately, I got to speak to designer Scott Henderson. He's the mastermind behind the Victoria Signature Series cast iron. I believe this is one of the very best cookwares, cast iron cookware on the market. I love the design. I love the way it works. I love their stay cool handle. Everything about it is first class. But what does it take to go from a concept to a finished product? And why would you hire an industrial designer? Why not just you know copy what's been done many, many, many times before? So we got into that in our conversation. I hope you really enjoy it. It's going to shed some light on the whole process of cookware in general and talk specifically about what makes Signature Series so great. Hey, Scott, really great to see you today. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk to me. I'm really excited to get into the design of cookware. But first, can you tell the viewers a little bit about yourself? Yeah, absolutely, Jed. It's uh, nice to be here, and thanks for having me. So I am an industrial designer. I've been doing industrial design for 30 years, and I uh, design products for... Fortune 500 companies, as well as much smaller companies and all around the world. So a lot of housewares, consumer electronics, consumer medical, transportation products, um, basically a wide variety of things. And I have basically focused a lot on housewares products like cookware. So, yeah, cool. And so a lot of the things that are on your background, what we're looking at right now are things that you've designed. Yes, exactly. Awesome. That's that's super cool. Okay, so today, like specifically, we're going to talk about the design of the signature series cast iron cookware that's made in Colombia um, that I've had on this channel already, and that's how you and I met. And so, you know, generally, uh, when you are designing cookware, um, you know, what are the physical considerations that you have to think of when you when you start off? Like, where are you kind of going to to make this work? Yeah, well, cookware is a really interesting category because a lot of people think, well, it's just a pots and pans, you know, how how simple and low tech can that possibly be? But there's so much that goes into successful cookware. So number one, you're putting something on a stove that reaches 600 degrees or you could put it in an oven. It also, uh, you know, it's exposed to extremely high temperatures. And then there's a lot of safety concerns with that because you're actually asking the user to put their hands on this thing. And, um, you know, there's uh, durability aspects to it and lots of things that go into it. There's also, you know, culinary uh, considerations that go into designing cookware. So a lot goes into designing cookware. Yeah. And so do you lean heavily on past experience? Like how do you like do you have a like a set of variables that you try to use? Like how do you how do you go be like, okay, that's good, that's gonna work? Yeah, it's a lot of past experience. When I first started designing my first cookware project was a long time ago now. You know, I was making all the typical mistakes, like putting the handle too close to the flame or using materials that would melt because they're too close to the flame, or uh, you know, things like that. And uh, yeah, I've now I've designed cookware a few times, you know, five or six projects worth over the years. And uh, I know all the uh, the things to avoid, you know. Right. OK, so with all that that knowledge and understanding experience, you've got something that's practical. So practical has to, I guess, bubble up to the top. It's got to work. You got to be able to sell it and it has longevity for whatever somebody paid for it. Yeah. But how do you how do you marry that to something that becomes saleable? How do you make something that's beautiful and functional at the same time? You know, especially when you've been tasked with a project like the the signature cast iron that you know really is one of the most beautiful cast irons on the market. How do you make those two things meet? Well, a lot of the times when you're talking about a specific product category, many uh, versions or many you know competitive samples that are out there in the market sort of do things the same way over and over again. And so what you try to do is you canvas the whole entire housewares industry and you look for the opportunities. What haven't people considered and why 
you know, and uh, you just try to come up with something that will ha will bring real value to the consumer. And if it has real value, it's valuable and it will sell and it, and, uh, it will be high profile and iconic and all of that. So, you, you know, you're just looking for a way to bring real value to the people that are going to use it. Mm -hmm. And so with something like Signature, where did, when you were designing and coming through, like, you know, and, and we'll probably, I can show some of the, the, the versions along here and some B-roll that was, we're talking of, of the pan. Uh, yeah. And you've already shown that to me before, and it looks very, very cool how it developed over time. But when you got to that point, how did you know, yeah, that's it? How did you, how did you know that was the one you wanted to birth? Well, the process involved sort of looking at the way all cookware, cast iron cookware has been done and the opportunity to introduce something that was more premium. And, uh, but what makes premium? You know, like uh, why is a Mercedes Benz premium and why does it cost so much? Because it's well built. It has a lot of very functional aspects to it. You know, the way the door closes, for example, you hear the, that sound, you know, and it's just it just brings quality to your ears. And uh, so for us to say, well, we want to make a premium product um, that has to have real functional benefit you know associated with it and uh, so that but that's what we wanted to do we wanted to create something premium that had a, a very high quality um, feel about it and that would last forever within mm -hmm. within someone's home so that was the initial starting point is how do we create a premium line of cast iron cookware fair and I, 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 you haven't said it specifically, but you know, the, the brass within this, this line of cast iron really does set it off. It's a beautiful fixture within the, the, the dark uh, preseason cast iron. And how easy was that when you came up with that and you, that's what you wanted to go. Was that like, Oh, that's easy. We'll just do that. Or was that a design challenge? Well, no, that, that evolved out of many iterations of trying to create what we were calling a stay cool handle option. So one of the ways that we were bringing a lot of value to this high, uh, this uh, premium line of cast iron cookware was to try to make the handle stay cool or be cooler than the average cast iron handle. So, so if you look at cast iron cookware out there on the market, Sometimes they sell a little rubber sleeve you're supposed to put over that handle, or it's absolutely a product that you're going to need to wear an oven mitt on your hand to even touch while you're frying an egg, you know? And uh, so one of the things that we were trying to achieve was to make that handle cooler than, you know, the standard cast iron cookware out there on the market. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so the, so by by putting some negative space onto the handle, which happened, uh, you know, after ten or so other designs that preceded it, um, there was like a little bridge of cast iron to keep that handle structural, even though we were removing material from the middle of it, and uh, that was a really great place to sandwich a piece of accent metal on onto the pan to give it a little bit of premium uh, look and to differentiate it from a regular cast iron pen, which is usually a one single material. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's spectacular. It is such a gorgeous handle, such a, such a functional, gorgeous handle. So in, in that, in that functionality, so how as simply as you can, uh, cause I know it is actually quite technical because I've been explained to it to me already and I still don't totally understand it. So to help me in layman's terms, how does that handle stay so cool? Because I've used it. I can tell you firsthand, it is, is wonderfully cool comparatively to all other cast iron pans I've used out there. It, it stays yeah. amazingly cool. How did you achieve that? Yeah. Well, if you, I don't know if you can en envision in your mind what a motorcycle engine looks like, but it has all these little fins on it, right? Mm -hmm. And um, that means that it's added maybe 10 times the amount of surface area to the, the where the engine is making all of its heat. And uh, so that's called, in, in technical terms, that's called a heat sink. And uh, the more surface area you add to something, the 
cooler it gets. So by putting a, uh, a slot in the middle of the handle, now we have all these sides that are absorbing heat as opposed to just a big plane of, of metal. And uh, we've also taken away material from the handle that would normally get really, really, really hot. And so it's just not there anymore. And so therefore it stays cooler. Okay. And how, like the other part of it, and then I'll show pictures of it right here so everybody can see it, but how do you stop that handle from being brittle? Like that's pretty thin metal once you get from the base of the, the pan into the handle. Yeah. Well, if we use regular cast iron, like all the other pans out there on the market, uh, the, that, the handle that we did for signature would break. It would be too brittle. So we modified the cast iron a little bit to be more like an automotive iron um, by putting magnesium into the, um, into the material itself, which strengthened it a lot. And uh, to test that, we did things like drop it out of second story windows and we ran over the pants with, with heavy trucks. And you're in New York. So is this downtown New York? You were just tossing it out? No, of we were tossing it out the window in um, Medellin, Colombia. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and running it over with trucks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it does not break. It's incredibly strong. I mean, these signature pans will last forever. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah that's 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 really cool. Because you know, I, I haven't had it for a long, long time, but it just the feel and the shape of it is just absolutely beautiful. So that that's really cool. I, I really appreciate that nice summary. So, you know, now we're at a point of like, what what do you see as the future of signature, even like just generally cookware? You know, you're immersed in that space, like. You know, in some ways, cookware has been the same for a thousand years and yeah. other ways, you know, it's developed incredibly over the last 30 years. So what, where do you see this going? Where, what are the trends that are coming down the pipeline? Well, there's a lot of trends right now about sustainability in the world. And uh, one of the best ways that you can bring about sustainability is to produce very high quality. And uh, so that's I believe that's why there's this trend towards premium things. You know, like when I was a kid, you know, you buy a, a car or whatever and everybody would say, oh, you know, the Mercedes, it's so expensive, but it will last forever. It's it's that mentality, you know, of uh, of what's happening within cookware. And so this premium line falls into that. You're not going to this is not a disposal pen you're going to get rid of in two years. You're going to have this for 30 years. Yeah. And uh, so therefore, it's just more sustainable. And uh, so I, I see that as where things in general are going throughout the world of product design. Is right. to and do, do you see that? Like, I, I, I try to promote that from my side, you know, when I'm dealing with the end user for the customer who's purchasing this out of the box. But do you see that from the design side too? Because like, I try to, to com not convince, but at least portray that as that's the option that they have comparatively to buying a nonstick pan or something cheaper. But yeah. do you know, do you think that is a broader movement of, of people in general? Do you think consumers absolutely. in general? Yeah, it absolutely is a broad movement right now. Okay. You know, people are, uh, the idea of uh, mass production, like, uh, you know, where you're making um, hundreds of thousands of the same piece. And so therefore it has to be cheap and, and so forth um that is the, there's a favor towards the handmade the workbench made the uh and and so all of that leads to a different design aesthetic too because sometimes these things are actually handmade and uh, you know i'm thinking about brands out there that are thriving you know brands like a filson or something like that um where there's a, an aesthetic that is not uh overly designed anymore you know it is uh it's simpler and it's it's and it's simpler because it's communicating this craftsmanship um uh, point of view this this work bench made point of view and the signature series really falls into that i think yeah yeah fair yeah i, I would i would say definitely definitely there's you know a good handful which is awesome like its competitors on the marketplace are doing a lot of the same thing it makes a wonderful niche you know, they they all are meeting very, very high standards. So I think yeah. I love Signature's difference in, in the way in which you incorporated the design. And I love the idea of the way in which you guys put the magnesium into the into the mixture to make it stronger. That's that sets it apart. 
but I'm very, very excited about the entire broad category, you know, of all of the niche makers of high-end cast iron. They're, they're all killing it. And it's a pretty exciting place to be. Yeah. 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 There's some nice pieces out there now. Absolutely. Yeah. It really, it really brings, it really inspires, you know, that there's, there's so much to design and it's such a deep territory and, you know, there's always something, uh, a new, a new path to, uh, you know, flourish in. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. Awesome. Well, Scott, thank you so much for your time today. This has been really informative. I've really loved being able to connect with you on this. And if anybody wants to talk to you and further about design or industrial design, how do they get a hold of you? You can email me at scott at scotthendersoninc.com uh, or my Instagram is uh, at scott underscore henderson underscore inc. Uh, or, I'm, you know, I'm on LinkedIn. So. Wicked. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you, Jed. Really appreciate it. Awesome.